Hi everyone, it's me again. Tonight I will be doing an Ulta Beauty haul. I had to satisfy my urge to go to Ulta tonight after work. So I went there, I was there for probably a good half hour, 45 minutes, maybe more. I don't know, when I'm there, I could be there for hours, but I don't really have that kind of time right now. This is my bag. Uh, they gave me a very large bag, even though I didn't get that many like large items, but I did buy a number of items, including this Karina hair clip. I looked at a few other hair clips at first, and then this was more of what I was looking for. I like these, the way it clips, how it's like this. So it's supposed to be better for protecting your hair and keeping it together so it has a nice hold. And I like the way this looks. The design's really pretty. I didn't even know how much this cost, to be honest with you, until I'm looking at the price tag now. I didn't know where the prices were. But it says here that it was $12. So that's not terrible. I've been starting to get into Karina hair supplies lately after I bought this headband that I'm wearing, which is also from Karina. And it could hold a lot of hair, as you can see. And the next item that I bought is, this is another hair product. This is on clearance from $18.50 to $9.97. And I realized the other day that I needed more dry shampoo now that I'm getting into the habit of using dry shampoo. I wanted to try something different. The one that I'm currently using is Tresemme. And for this price, it's not that bad. So this one is from... Goldwell Dual Senses. It's ultra volume dry shampoo for fine to normal hair. I mean, my hair is not normal, but <laughs> I don't think it's normal. But I mean, it should be okay, right? And it says it has Smart Boost Complex Tapioca Starch. And I didn't want to spray it, hoping no one else sprayed it, but it took a smell of like the little, um, what do you call this? Spout? or where the aerosol part where the spray comes out of. In the store, it smelled kind of coconutty. It was very nice. It says that it reduces buildup of dirt and oils in the hair between washes without shampooing. It instantly revives volume by absorbing excess oil, leaves hair with a natural, cared for touch, and healthy shine. I'm reading the bottle here, and it says that this dry shampoo product uh, it was made in Austria. Oh wow. It was made in Austria. That's so cool. I like trying products that are from like different places just to see what they're like. I'm gonna, I don't want to spray my hair right now because I just washed it earlier today. It's not, it's too soon. I'm gonna spray the hair and then get a nice smell from the bottle. Yeah, it's very nice. It smells like hairspray. But it has like some other things going on there, like a powdery, a soft powdery scent. It's nice. I also bought this, I guess you would call it a travel size product from Clinique. It's their dramatically different moisturizing lotion. And it's part of their three step skin care. It's dermatologist developed, allergy tested, and 100% fragrance free. This one is the third step. I'm going out of steps, but I bought it because I want to try this. It was only $5. I looked up the ingredients just to see what's in it. And some of the known, you know, basic ingredients besides water are mineral oil, sesame oil, barley extract, cucumber, fruit extract, and sunflower ruster, just like the usual or not usual, but you know what I mean? And this one says it's for dr very dry to dry combination skin. And that I feel is very much me. I definitely have very dry skin. Although I do get a little oily, like in the usual spots, like around the nose, the forehead, but right now I have so much setting spray and powder on. I think I did a really good job underneath my neck. Like, 
the usual places, but if you around my mouth lately, it's been getting really dry, so I need to put a little extra something or put a little less of something. But this one, I definitely wanted to try. I really like Clinique's products. Is this for the hands or the body? I mean the face. So it has this look to it. Light yellow tube. It's 5.9 ounces. This lotion is 0.5 ounces. So you could definitely travel with this if you really want to. It's travel safe. It doesn't really smell like anything, hence why it's fragrance free. And I'm just gonna try it on my hand. Ooh. It's like a dollop of yellow, like a light neon yellow. Oh, it's so smooth. So smooth. And like hydrating feeling. My hands are so dry, so this is like awesome for me right now. It's not greasy at all. It's a little sticky, but whatever. It's probably from all the fruits and things they put in it. It feels so nice. Wow. This, I'm gonna show you. This is probably like a before. And this is the after with the lotion on it. It's so much smoother. I don't know if you could tell. So much smoother. Before. <laughs> after so nice I really love this it was definitely worth the five dollars and I'm sure if I got the regular size product it would be worth however much money that costs the last three items are for the face for sure part of what's gonna be my new cosmetic routine when I'm doing my makeup so I tried this as a sample, like a small sample from Too Faced. With my first order that I purchased from Too Faced, they gave me like a little sample of their uh, hangover replenishing face primer. It smells like coconut. It has coconut water in it. It's silicone free. And this has 20 milliliters in it. It says it's the Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover. X coconut water probiotic based ingredient and there's also skin revivers in it. It contains olive fruit, olive oil, coconut water, and coconut fruit and a number of other ingredients. It was made in Italy. Ooh, nice. I family from Italy. And they say that after using this product, a hundred percent of users said that it was made their skin or their faces 100% smoother, 100% more radiant, 100% more hydrated, and their skin had an appearance of 100% of a full night's rest. They did a consumer study. I mean, when I tried it, I wasn't like wowed by it, but I did only use like one of those little, one of those little packet samples. So this is the box that it comes in. It's really pretty. I like the colors. This is really pretty. This top here is so big though. Look at this. Look at this top. It's huge. I wonder why. I wonder if like the spout is that long. I don't know. I'll find out though in a few seconds. So this is the Hangover <laughs> RX. That's so interesting but they made a face primer that you know is named after a hangover. I think it's funny. The bottom here it's if you could see it. I don't know if you can. Probably not. It says, we love your skin even when you don't. So I hope that they love my skin this time around. Oh, it's a pump. So that makes sense now. It has this long top. You pull it right off and there's like a pump here. A pump. And I guess I'll try it on this hand. So we're going to squeeze a little bit out. Ooh, it like squirted. It smells like coconut, it's so delicious. So that's that. And I'm just gonna rub it in. See if it covers my pores, makes my hand look even younger, we'll see. So it blends in very quickly. It smells nice. I've been looking for a higher end foundation, something that's very, very hydrating by a brand that's familiar to me. And I've gotten some 
recommendations and I wasn't feeling what those were. I tried so many, not so many, I tried, you know, various different brands, foundations. I tried stick foundations. They were too dry for me. And um, I came across the Smash, the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. This one, I wasn't sure about the shade for me and their number, their numbers, or they use a number shading system. So that was very new to me, very different. I wasn't sure which color, but the moment I put this on my hands, it was so hydrating, so cooling, so smooth. Very, very full coverage. I mean, at least on my hand it was. Very full coverage. So you really gotta like do a little bit at a time. From what I've seen, from what I tested on my hand. And it says, it's Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation Oil Free. So although it's oil free, it is so silky, so hydrating. It's incredible. Be flawless for 15 hours. So this is the box. I'm not making this up. That's what it says. Be flawless for 15 hours. And it's pretty much what it looks like, but I'll show you the real deal. So I picked 1.1 because that is the shade. I was between 1.0 and 1.1. And I asked one of the workers for help and she just tested this one on this side and then the 1.0 on this side over here. And she said that the 1.0 had too many pink undertones and I don't really have that apparently. So she's like, go with, she's like the 1.1 is probably the best. And it, when I looked at it after she tested it on my skin, I realized that Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited. Anyway, so I realized that she was probably right. I mean, I could probably do the 1.0, but this one's the most natural for me. So this is what it looks like. It's a glass bottle, whatever it's called. And I just realized I got a tiny, tiny sample of their Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, which is also oil free. And I fell in love with that when I tried it also before I got the travel size. I'm going to get it again though at some point. I love it. I totally recommend this one. Right now I'm working on a different one from them. But I forgot which one, but it's in my room somewhere. So this one, okay, you lift up the top. <laughs> Alright, so you pull the top off. And it also has a pump. And I'll put it on this hand. Try to get a little bit on there. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> it's a little messy, I'm learning. But yes, so a little bit on there. A little bit is gonna go a long way. I'm gonna clean this off. So I don't know if you could tell what the tone looks like, but this is it on my hand. And again, I'm just gonna rub it in. I keep rubbing because this is very, very potent stuff. Rub it in. I'm going to see if it covers up my scar. Alright. That's also on my hand. Alright, my hands are really, really dry. But, oh wow, it's covering up my scar that's on my wrist. Oh my god, you can barely see it even exists anymore. This is amazing. This is probably the most full coverage foundation I've ever used, and I love it. So Daniel and Kaylee just came home, so don't mind the noise. <laughs> Daniel's making some tea. So I had Daniel help me get the last item open for me. And it did not come in a box, but it came with this instruction manual, I guess you'd say. It is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Illuminating Powder. The setting powder and I was kind of iffy about this one because it has a shimmery effect to it but I like that I mean for work it's a little bit much but I might do it anyway because that's just me or I'll save it for days where I don't have to work and not care about the shimmer and glitter in my face on my face and everything but this is it and so what you do is 
I don't know if you can see the collar here. It's very pretty. So you open it up, and there's this tab here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's very hard to come off. Danielle got it off for me. I think this can go back here just to keep the powder in. That's what I'm gonna do at least. And it has like this wheel here where you could turn it depending on how much powder you want at a time. So like lock it or unlock it. I think that's how it works. Wait, how do you do this? To be honest, I'm really confused. Oh yeah, it is right. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I poured a little, I don't want to waste too much of it. But I poured some on my hand, which I also got into the container. Tannish glittery color. I don't know if you can see that. And it's so soft. Probably should put it on the other side of my hand. You'll see. Doesn't really smell like much, but it's very, it has really, it's very, very soft and like a light powder feeling and some glitter to it. It's so beautiful. Just want to say thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like the video below. And if you'd like to see more or like what you see so far, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you again and see you soon. Bye.